Okay, we have the matrix up next. So basically a matrix um, is just a set of numbers that you have to treat in a particular way. So they either can give you two tables and ask you to multiply one of the columns and one of the rows together, or they'll give you what you're probably a little bit more comfortable with if you've covered matrices, um, which is the following. Okay, so uh, we're trying to combine two uh, matrices together, and they follow this pattern. So if you haven't covered a matrix before, this probably looks extremely confusing. Um, but it's it's really not so bad. So basically all you're doing is you're taking your first, uh, in this case, letter. So you have A, and you're multiplying it by E. Then you're adding B multiplied by G. So notice, all you're doing in this first slot here is you're taking the first row and one by one multiplying it by your first column. So first things first is first row, first column. Okay. So then uh, what you're going to do underneath that is you've got, okay, C times E and D times G. So all you're doing is first is first row, first column. Then underneath it is second row, first column. Then up at the top, you've got your first row, second column. And then at the very bottom, second row, second column. So it's all about combining rows and columns. So row comes first, then column. And if you can remember that pattern, that it's rows and then columns, it gets a little bit easier. And also, just if you're really mixed up on matrixy, uh, matrices, all you have to do is just, you know, write down a bunch of them and just, you know, practice over and over. And by your, you know, fifth or so time, you start to get a lot more comfortable with this concept. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do a matrix problem. Okay, so uh, let's say that we have this problem. So we're looking at this matrix. So go 6, 1, 6, 3. And we're going to multiply it by this okay, so 2, 3, and then 4, 7. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what does this equal. Okay, great. So first things first, save space. Uh, we're going to take our first row and multiply it by our first column. So we've got 6 times 2, because that's part of our first row and first column plus 1 times 4, and that would be our first number that's going to be at this top left. And then let's go underneath that and say, okay, still dealing with 6, and this time it's uh, times 2, so it's this second 6, not the first one. And then we're going to add, again, second row, first column, so 3 times 4. And then uh, once we go to our second kind of row of these, we've already exhausted our first column. So we're going to go first row, second column, second row, second column. So it's all about the second column now. All right, so we start off with our first six. So we've got six times three, because that's in our second column, plus one times seven, because again, that's first row, second column. And then our very last term is second row, second column. So we'd have 6 times 3 plus, this time, 3 times 7. 3 times 7. All right, that's the hard part. Now all we have to do is just add everything up. So once we come down here, all you have to do is say, OK, uh, we've got 6 times 2, so that's 12. And then you add on 4 to that. So you've got 16 in this top slot, and then you've got to add 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 times 4 is 12. So you have to add 12 and 12, or 24, in this kind of bottom left spot. Then let's move up to the top right. So we've got 6 times 3, plus 7, so we've got 25 here. And then we've got 6 times 3, plus 3 times 7 should give us 39. So this would be our answer.